from Japanese books, movies, to toys. 35-year-old Tan Yuehan has got them all. He even has a Japanese-sounding name. Yuehan, aka Takahan, is a fan of most things Japanese except one. So do you have a, a girlfriend or do you want to uh, get a Japanese girlfriend? Uh, no to both because I don't understand Japanese. <laughs> and Japanese, uh, they don't speak English. Even until now, I still cannot speak Japanese. I attempt to learn, but uh, I guess I'm not very good in language. Girls aside, Takahan is fascinated with most things Japanese. His cluttered office is packed with some $40,000 worth of Japanese literature, films and toys. His love for Japanese art started with a Super Famicom game console at the tender age of 15. I think it's the sound effect and the graphic. Uh, like, wow. Mm. Even though now, the, of course now the, the sound effect that fasc fascinates me during that time uh, is considered lousy uh, now. Mm. But then it really fascinates me because I can feel the tremble and wow, when I pray, I, I, I purposely on my TV to the loud, loudness. It has a visual and a audio experience. Back in the 90s, Takahan had to contend with a still evolving worldwide web to find like-minded people in Singapore. But now he says he has seen a rise in the number of people interested in all things Japanese. In particular, it's pop culture. I think everybody like cute stuff and beautiful stuff, uh, not only Singaporeans. And the Japanese are very innovative in, in terms of creating a very cute image and very nice image. Mm. They are more daring when it comes to dressing and I think it started from idol because more people, most people get into Japanese culture because uh, of, their, of the Japanese idol. They look very nice, the guys are so beautiful. And the girls are so uh, kawaii cute. Because uh, I think Singapore, uh, Singaporeans are very open-minded, so they can accept more culture. He thinks that some Singaporeans might fall in love easily with Japanese culture because we are a young nation. There's very little culture uh, in Singapore that we can be proud of, uh, of mm. because our history are so short, and our education doesn't really make us into very like culture, like people who like culture and who spend a lot of money on culture or want to research and study culture. Because we are a very modernized country. In addition, Takahan also says that the fact that Singapore has one of the highest broadband internet penetration rates in Asia has something to do with it. Nowadays, Singaporeans always stick to the internet. Yeah. So they hardly socialize uh, anything outside the cyber world. So they might not be knowing uh, Singapore girls well. They only know it, know them well in the internet. But then uh, there are a lot of Japanese cute girls photo in the internet. That's why it create uh, interest uh, like uh, the razor like me. Uh, you know, Japanese. I, I think this is why the Singaporean girls lose out. For Takahan, who goes to Japan about five times a year, this does not represent reality. The one in anime usually is a. Uh, very loud mouth, very cheerful. But uh, in, in Japan, the, most of the uh, women are quite uh, humble, quiet type. I, I find that uh, Japanese are, girls are more workaholic than uh, Singapore girls. They have lesser social life. In fact, I suspect they have no social life. So maybe Takahan is right. It's all about the Japanese treatment and packaging. If you are interested in why other Singaporeans are fascinated with Japanese women, hit up our previous clips.